video on House of Machismo Podcast. It's House of Machismo. So this next one is... Uh, who who's gonna be the violator? Albert's gonna be the violator. Yeah, right? we'll be the plaintiff. Okay, okay. I'll be the violator. So this one is uh, I just had it. Oh well, I lost it. Not covering for Do you each want to other. Flip? You be yeah, the yeah, lawyer because yeah. that didn't work out very Fa- well for me. <laughs> <laughs> Failing to help a friend out in a sticky situ- situation or abandoning the- abandoning them in a time of need. Mm. Okay. What? That's a, that's a. That's not really a guy code. That's a, that's a friendship code violation. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know. That's what. Here, let me let me see. No, no. <laughs> you don't have the robe. Yeah. Um, I've got the gavel here. <laughs> Hits him in the head, claw, bitch. <laughs> Okay, how about this? Bailing without a good reason. Continuously flaking on plans and not showing up without a valid excuse. That's a good one. That's a good one. Okay, so you're the one flaking? He's the one flaking. flaking. You're the one flaking. Are you the lawyer or am I the... You're the the smart one. Okay. (laughs) I don't know what I'm doing. (laughs) All right. Your Honor, we have a case where Dan is a habitual flaker. Flake, I hate habitual bitch. flaker. Hey, for, Anyways, the the thing is, the 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 house of machismo as a group love to do things together, and Dan always comes up with, "I have to wash my hair, I got to do my taxes, got to got to shave my chest, got to improve my credit score, got to get credit score." I don't yeah. like you guys. Yeah, <laughs> <No>. <laughs> just <laughs> and so. With a guide code policy, you know, we don't know where the limit is at with uh, so many invites. When do we stop inviting? Your Honor, my, my <laughs> friend here, Dan the Man, I've been knowing him for a quite long time now. He does have marvelous hair. He does do have a great tax score. I will tell him that. Great credit score. Mm-hmm. He just bought a home. He's starting his whole new life right now. He does flake. He is guilty of that. But he is not guilty of a man code violation because he is a good man, not just to us, but to this humanity. So, Your Honor, I will let you know right now, this case, thrown out the window. It's not worth it. He lets you know ahead of time. He lets you know at least within 24 hours. And I'm not going to lie. Some of the places that we've been to, Dan the man ain't gonna show up because they're kind of lame to Dan the man. He ain't gonna show up to a place where there's only half naked men with no, and I mean no, t- chance of him getting laid. <laughs> oh, so you guys been to Tallywhackers? <laughs> <laughs> Your Honor, let me point to Exhibit B. <laughs> a blank sheet of paper, got it. No. Two weeks ago, I got five tickets to the Mavericks playoff game. Damn. Wait, hold on. Is this true? No. <laughs> you bitch. I didn't even know. Dan, explain this. Okay, why didn't you tell me about these two? Uh-huh, go. I mean, two weeks. And I said, hey, who wants to go to the Mavericks playoff game? The Mavericks are on fire right now, right? Yes. Dan said, first person. Dan was the first person. Hook me up. Let's fucking go. I'm fucking ready. Wait, Fuck the Dallas Stars. We're going to go see the Dallas Mavericks. And I was like, all right, cool. So okay, I so bought- wait. I'm kind of confused. Yeah. I thought you were the attorney. Yeah, I am. Okay. I'm, not putting it, I'm putting what is Why what, what is the violation? But you were saying that you were the one with the tickets and that you were the one with all that. Yeah, I mean, shouldn't I, it be with him? I haven't finished it yet. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. Okay, so okay. K Rod was going to get the tickets. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, I was so, so, Dan, so Dan said, "Yes, give me the tickets." K Rod dropped in a, an insane amount of money for courtside tickets. Mm, made it rain. We were already there and everything. And five minutes before uh, tip off. Dan uh, ghosts us mm-hmm. and he doesn't Ghost say us. anything and so we were in courtside with an empty seat and Mark empty Cuban seat. was mad there was an empty seat courtside mm-hmm. too and I was the Mavericks the Mavericks lost that game too all we didn't have of Dan Dan's machismo was not part of the house of machismo did I have a good is, time? Isn't that the night? That you yes. had a great oh, time. Okay. Marty, so hotel Marty got right, loaded. Yeah. <laughs> I was in a hotel He was room. in his judge outfit. And yeah. <laughs> Hitting the gavel and everyone walking by. <laughs> he had, he, yeah. I forgot. He hit SGA's for knees. <laughs> Where's my <laughs> drink? You're on set. You're on set with you you should bring up that his attorney went to Texas Tech and nobody respects that shit. Oh, they don't. Nobody. So the judge should know that. It's a lot of his credibility is being torn down just because it's Texas Tech. Did you really go to Texas Tech? 
No, I went oh. to him. No, this oh, is the attorney. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you, oh, look you at went that, to Texas. Look at that hoodie. Doesn't he look like you go to yeah, Texas Yeah, look at Tech? those legs. No. <laughs> And nobody he's from Lubbock, just, but he's yeah. got the Dallas cityscape on. I know, right? Isn't that weird? <laughs> well, he knew what was going to happen. I have a photo mm-hmm. right here, though. And all of this. Okay, I got you. All right, let's do it. <laughs> all right, you guys say that you guys bought courtside tickets. No, correct. Wrong already. I bought them. See, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is lies. Well, well, I'm lies. Sorry. I am not just lies. Sorry. We will be. Let let him explain. The reason inept why, attorney explain. The reason the why I say y'all is because I'm also going to be making a countersuit. Oh, well, we don't have time for that. Well, we do now. <laughs> we do now. Because here is proof. Right here in this photograph, there is no courtside seats with K-Rod, Albert, or Marty at this establishment during this game that you guys claim. So I didn't have a good time. Oh, that was before the playoffs. Oh, uh, no, no. <laughs> this is the exact time and date of these tickets. Something called the so, restroom. When I, so I Googled these right now. I Googled these and I- During them. court. <laughs> during court. Your honor, he does not respect your court. He was on his phone Googling <laughs> and not paying attention to you. I'll allow it. <laughs> And now, smart there here, for that first and time. Now, here is a first photograph of Mr. K Rod. Yeah, corner seats, floor seats. Yeah, he was sitting on the floor on the corner of American Airlines Center. Where is Albert and Marty? They're begging for change because now they got to pay for their own parking. Yeah, but now we did it t- as a group. <laughs> I mean, bro, I got a credit card. I mean, <laughs> we did it together still. Your Honor, one moment. They fucking got us. <laughs> No, they don't. What do we do? We stick together. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Your Honor, I don't think... I say just bend over. <laughs> <laughs> Your Honor... So I'll spend over. Your Honor, we have now came to the conclusion that we want repercussions for all this harassment that Dan has got. restitution? Whatever you want to call A it. Prostitution? <laughs> <laughs> Put it this way. Dan the man... Wants a paid vacation to Texas Tech. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I, you know, I'm good. <laughs> we'll, just, we'll set him with an Airbnb, go to the Bud, Buddy Holly Museum. That's all he wants. <laughs> that is all he wants. He wants, and, and the thing is, he wants to invite one person. Yeah. He, they wants, got to like, invite, he wants to invite K Rod. They got eight Chipotle's over there. <laughs> he, wants, he wants to invite K Rod. K Rod, would you accept that invitation? No. <laughs> well, it then it looks, like, it looks like you'll have to, you have to take the criminal you charges then. You should flake. You, you know what? I will go with you. <laughs> I, I, I will I, I, agree. I don't trust you because of those facial, those facial expressions you were just making, raising Which your eyebrows. You will have a marshal escort him to the airport <laughs> yeah. to Lubbock. Yes. And you guys will be able to enjoy, I think they have a dust bowl out there. I think it's called a dust bowl. Oh, no, 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 no. My client here will not need to have a marshal escort oh. him to Lubbock. Yeah. Only K-Rod. Okay. Lubbock has girls that dip tobacco. Oh, that's so sexy. It's so sexy for Canada. Oh, God, yes. <laughs> it's called, it's so would you accept in. the terms, or would you like to do criminal justice jail? Ha, for how long? Yeah, only yeah, the judge you, will... you have to uh, Eskimo kiss uh, Dan for like <laughs> I'd rather minutes, go to minutes. jail than go to Lubbock again. <laughs> well, that, that, that's the punishment, it's Eskimo kiss Dan for no, five minutes. No, you had Eskimo kiss Big Bob from Harold and Kumar, <laughs> skip from Guantanamo Bay. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> or oh, you had to Eskimo kiss on uh, Rashiki. Um, but yeah, I'll do that anytime. All right. <laughs> you I'll think say, he farts? I was ready to give a backstory. That's like, all right, go ahead, go ahead. Oh well, I don't know. What's your backstory? So the backstory was gonna be like, all right, he gets on the plane and everything. Dan the man flakes right away. <laughs> <laughs> Again. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I don't know what I just did. <laughs> oh, I know that you're doing something. I think we're on the next one. <laughs> it sounded good. All right, we got time for one more. Then one more. Okay. Let's go. One more. One more. Find us on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Amazon Music, and iHeartRadio, or wherever you stream your podcasts. Be sure to like our Facebook page and follow us on Instagram. You can also find us on our YouTube channel and TikTok. 